The dish that we are doing today is the Dover soul with sea orchard. And here are the ingredients. We have fresh Dover soul. We have the eggs from the sea orchards. We have a little milk. Extra virgin olive oil. Leaves from white fennel. And just to be a little fancier, pink soul from Himalaya. What we have to do is to skin the Dover sole and to fillet it. To skin the soles, we have to score them, close the tail in this way. Then with the point of our fillet knife, we score the skin This operation must be done on both sides. Sometimes it's harder than we thought, so it's enough to scrape a little more with the knife uh, during the process. I told you at the beginning that this dish is at the same time simple and fancy. So, simplicity is in the number of ingredients you see. We have just the salt, the olive oil, some aromatic herb, the sea urchin. The fancy part is in the shape. Hmm? We have now this nice fillet of fish and we can play with them. Huh? We can roll them, we can twist them. We can braid them. Hmm? Now my uh, two students will do the same, uh, using their imagination and fantasy. Huh? Okay, using this fillet to propose their shapes. Please. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> Don't worry. It will be good anyway. Huh? And we make it very nice in the dish. It's very, very tasty. What it means is that these fillets are very delicate, so you can break easily. So you have to decide how to do it, isn't it? So, if you try it really if you try to tie it too much, they are very breakable. That's nice. That's nice, yes. I like this one. I'm just twisting it, which is the easiest way 
You can pierce it with a toothpick so they stay during the cooking and take them off. We can also use a roll one because we have also to finish this dish with the sea urchins and we have also to decide where to put them. And if we make a roll like this, the sea urchin can stay on top. Another thing that I have to say is that they cannot be cooked, so they go in the dish just at the end. So it's where to place, where to place them. <laughs> the fish doesn't need long cooking times. A few minutes are enough. The best pan to cook the fish is a stainless steel pan with a double bottom. For this preparation, we don't need to scald the oil first. We put all the ingredients together at the beginning. So we have the fish rolls in the pan. Then we need some olive oil. We aromatize with some fennel leaves like this. It's not important to chop it. It will release a strong flavor. A few tablespoons of milk. And salt. Then we cover with the lid and we place on the stove a medium heat for about three minutes. Let's go! The soles are cooking in this pan with the hermetic lid and they are cooking at medium high heat for about three minutes. At the end of the three minutes, I will turn off the fire, but keep the fish still inside of the lid for one minute. After, I will take off the lid, put the sea urchin in a nice way on top of the lower soles, and then put again the lid, but without putting it on the fire again, because the sea urchin eggs cannot be cooked. Our fish has cooked for three minutes and rested for one minute. At this point, we take off the egg and then we garnish. Then, with the sea urchins. We cover and we keep one minute. The heat inside will be enough. Ready for the painting. 